Some say that Eevee is the cutest Pokemon ever. Well, how about Darth Eevee? What's going on YouTube? My name is EDC Art Attack. His name is Bob, his name is Eevee, and welcome to a brand new drawing video. Today's video is a follow-up of a previous video I did in which I used a book to teach me how to draw Pokemon. This book? No. No, I don't, I don't need this. This is for them. This is for the people to enjoy it. No, I, I don't need it. Right, that's it. Right, so this, this duck here seems to think that I, ADC Art Attack, need a guide. I need this book right here. This thing, this book to tell me how to draw this? Come on, I don't need this. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Pokemon drawing. I'm gonna do a drawing right now, no reference. Nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing. Just the, that, the memory, the stuff in it. Oh. I totally missed my hat there. Okay, it has been a while since I've drawn Pokemon, so this this might not be as good as I want it to be. But nevertheless, I will do it now. So let's go. Okay, so to start things off, pretty simple right here. I'm gonna draw po pe po. What am I drawing? <laughs> okay, so to start things off, to warm up, I'm gonna start by drawing Pikachu, the fan favorite Pokemon, the most iconic Pokemon, and everyone knows what Pikachu looks like. And there was one other Pokemon we drew, which was Charizard in a left hand versus a right hand video, which if you haven't seen that yet, you should definitely check that video out because it's pretty cool. But I'm gonna refrain from using Charizard because that would just be way too easy. I've drawn him, I remember him, I won't do him again. So Pikachu is a little uh, rat, right? He's sort of based on a rat um, and he's got these big ears. So we're gonna start by doing the head of Pikachu and um, go from there, I guess. Already looks like Pikachu. I'm gonna have him sat down. I've never drawn Pikachu sitting, so I'm gonna do a sitting Pikachu. And I remember his body is sort of the shape of a sack of potatoes. And uh, uh, easy other parts of his body, I guess his feet. He's got these really long sort of oval shaped feet. Now the tail is probably gonna be the most difficult thing here because I don't really remember what tail he has. Uh, it, it's got a big thing on the end, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a Big thing there. And you know what? We're gonna hide his tail. We're gonna put his tail, a little artist secret here. If you can't draw something or you don't remember what it's like, just, just hide it. Do that. So yeah, hidden tail. Starting to get those cheeks in. Now remember, Pikachu has really big sort of happy cheeks. And he also has blush. No, not blush. What does he have? Infection. He has like red things on his face. We're gonna do the big red things. Sort of like his shocky things, right? They do like electric. So we're gonna do these big circles there. Are the ears in front? They, I mean, that doesn't make sense, right? The ears have got to be... I don't know. It's the meticulous details that are the difficult part here. Wait, you quiet. Quiet, I know what I'm doing. Does he have toes? I think he has toes. Where, where's your big toe? Is it on the inside or the outside? Um... My big toes... Why do I need to look at that? Big toe is on the inside. Right, so Pikachu's big toe is on the inside. Pikachu has toes, right? This is gonna look really weird if he does. He has toes. Pikachu has toes. Definitely has toes. For the love of everything, I have no idea how many toes he has. I'm gonna do something like this and just give him like... That sort of looks like feet. I think this is like a Pikachu feet. I, I, it's, it's, it's okay. Okay, that's a Pikachu sat down. I think that's good. I think that's okay. Uh, how do I do the eyes? Like, he's missing arms. Let's do the arms. We're gonna put the arms... Where do I put the arms? Wait, no. <laughs> Look at his hand. It looks like little wings. The happy Pikachu. Next up is the eyes. So the eyes are, they're black, I remember this. Boom. That's Pikachu, that is Pikachu. That's, if I've ever, that's a Pikachu. I, you know what? I actually did okay. I actually did all right. I, I think like, no, I didn't do all right. That's not Pikachu. That is not Pikachu. Oh. Oh no. We're off to a good start here, huh? Uh, next Pokemon. So I'm thinking we go for the starters. We did want Pikachu as a starter, right? I know Charmander and Squirtle were starter Pokemon. So we're gonna do Charmander and Squirtle. Are they in the book? I'm gonna ask my wife. One minute. Okay, okay. So Squirtle is not in the book, but Charmander is inside the book and so is Bulbasaur. So she said to me that Pikachu is not a starter Pokemon. Uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle were starter Pokemon. But I have no idea what Bulbasaur looks like. Alright, so Charmander. I gotta be honest, I have no real idea how Charmander looks either. If it even looks like him, I get the point. I don't... 
You don't get another point. Okay, right. Uh, tail. Like that. And this is just rough because I'm going to do... He has a flame on his tail. I remember this. The body. Something like that. Um, he does have legs. I know that because Charizard had... See, now I remember Charizard. I know what Charizard looks like. So I'm thinking a cuter version of Charizard will, will be onto something here. So uh, let's put his leg. What's his head? Does he have ears? I have no idea what he looks like from this point onwards. Ah, oh, And, um... Um... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That sort of looks like him. I I'm seeing him. I remember it. <laughs> Giving us a thumbs up. <laughs> Boom. Charmander. I already know. It doesn't look like him. That doesn't look like him at all. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh my god. It's not even close. I. <laughs> Get off the table. Uh, that's it. That's it. I need the guides. I I need the guides. I can't draw Pokemon without a reference or apparently a guide. There we go. So before we get started today, here is our how to draw Pokemon 50 Pokemons to learn to draw. What? By the way, leave a comment down below if you know all three of these Pokemon. I know this one is Dragonite, this one is Froggy, and this one is jacked up rabbit this is a really colorful book it looks absolutely amazing on the front cover it looks super professional but if we turn it over to the other side yeah, we have various examples of the pages contained within this book and what you're seeing right here is the structure on how this book conducts itself so how do these tutorials work where you get five stages it appears for every single one of them on how to draw the characters with a little bit of a detail next to them which is super hard to see and of course the images step by step so, it's time to flip open this book and see if we can find the characters we're going to be drawing today. Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur. Let's go. Righto, so here is the Charmander page. And needless to say, my one looked nothing like that. That looks like Charmander. I see it now. That, that's Charmander. He looks cute. So what I'm going to do here is follow these step-by-step -step guides and see if we can get that result by the end of it. I've got to say, these do jump really quickly through the stages. I mean, five stages to draw a character seems really quick. But, hey, it might work out. Let's give it a go. Okay, so step number one. Draw Charmander's head and body that reminds a bit of bowling... What? Draw Charmander's head and body that reminds a bit of bowling pin. Okay. Add nose and jaw to the left side. Instructions not clear. Cool. I guess I'll copy what it's done. Tell me how low I've got to go with this. I'm just kind of copying what I'm seeing. There's not really much of an instruction here. Yeah, I see a bowling pin. Oh, okay. All right. Step one complete. And yeah, it's about right. Step number two. Then draw arms with three claws and legs. What do you, what do you mean? Like the arms have legs? Gotta say, if it wasn't for these pictures, I'd have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, that looks about right. Step number three. Next, draw his tail and eyes. To draw his tummy. To draw his tummy. Why is that funny? Continue line from left leg up. And to draw mouth, start from nose. What? I'm going to start with the... Ah, the nose here. I see it. I see it. Okay. I'll be honest. I forgot that was a nose. Oh, he's so happy. Then we'll do the eyes. Not real instruction on where to do the eyes. Just... Just do them, I guess. Just put them in. Uh, again, where's this one go? Somewhere like there, I guess. It's a guessing game, really. It's just kind of put the eye in and that's it. We've given you the instruction. Do it. Just put the eye down. That looks weird. I gotta do the tummy. So, um, right. Tummy from this line? Okay, that really looks like him. Sweet. Step number four. Now draw claws on legs. Fire on the top of the te- Wait. Wait, grammar is, what What are they saying? Okay, I think I've gathered so far that English is not the first language of whoever wrote this book, so I've got to be a little bit understanding right here. But let's try and read this again. Now draw claws on legs, fire on the top of tail, add two eyes. I thought we already did the eyes. Ah, the little bits, okay. Finally, 
Draw the teeth, tongue and nostrils, finalize face, right hand and tail. Delete lines to merge the bod. Delete lines? Oh. Okay, so, all right, it's a good thing I did it in pencil then. Let's quickly ink it and delete those lines. And so Charmander is done, and with a little color magic, there he is. Actually, not looking too bad. But it's time to move on to the next Pokemon. And so next up, we have Pikachu. Same format, five steps, one result. So step number one, draw Pikachu's head. Circle, it's not a circle. And body that looks like rounded bell shape. So once again, if it wasn't for the visuals, I would have no idea what to do. I think that's about right. Step number two. Then you draw two ears similar to rabbits. Draw arms and feet. Okay, so the ears similar to rabbits is actually quite a uh, useful uh, little bit of information there. We wouldn't really need our image guides for this. However, when it does come to the arms, it's, um, yeah, without those visuals, once again, it doesn't really tell you where to put them, how to put them, how high, how far. You just kind of got to look and do it. Okay, this is ridiculous. It really looks like Pikachu already. Wow. Drawing with a guide really does make it easier. Step number three. Next draw its... What do you mean its? Next draw its... That's Pikachu. Next draw Pikachu's tail behind his left arm with two parallel zigzag lines. That is actually clear instruction. Now draw its, once again. Now draw Pikachu's eyes with two circles and a mouth. Yeah, no, what, how? I drew this head terribly. Yeah, this is actually gonna be quite difficult. See, my natural way of drawing, I would do lines up and down, but I wanna keep it as clean as possible and follow the instructions as clearly as they are not. So uh, drawing like this is quite difficult because I don't know how to do this bit. The eyes are sort of here. It's really hard to like just there? Oh my gosh. What happened to his face? <laughs> Is that... What have I done? <laughs> Finally, draw two circles on cheeks, finalize ears, arms and legs, delete lines to merge the body. Q. Yeah, see, I knew it. Pikachu has toes. All right, that's actually not too bad. Um, it's not the best. It doesn't look exactly like what I was drawing. I think the instructions could have been a little bit clearer, especially around the face, but yeah, it's very long. Pikachu's done, looking good. Let's add some color, looking better. Not a bad little result here. So moving on. Next up, we have everyone's least favorite starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur. I know I just triggered a lot of people right there. Remember to leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these starter Pokemons is your favorite. Draw Bulbasaur's head as flatted circle and eyes that look like cave opening and regular mouth. I don't even know where to start with that one. Okay, Bulbasaur's head as flatted circle. Okay, then cave openings. What's, what's a cave opening? Okay, that sort of looks right. Then draw the bulb that reminds of garlic's bulb behind the head. So far, that has been the clearest instruction I've been given because it does look like garlic, so yeah. Next, draw his legs and body under the bulb and head, then add ears. <laughs> uh, okay. Now draw markings on head and legs. Add to eyes and draw a zigzag top on bulb as crown. <sighs> Finally, draw the claws, finalize face, eyes and mouth, delete lines to merge the body. Boom, just like that, we have ourselves a Bulbasaur. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's add the line work and some color and see what we've got.
And with Bulbasaur done, it's time to add that color. And this one, I went for a different coloring style, more reminiscent of the classic Game Boy games. I'm very, very happy here. So there we have it. All three Pokemon that we have drawn today are complete. Which one is your favorite? Leave a comment down below letting me know. I think we certainly made some improvements over the Pikachu and the Charmanders for sure. Bulbasaur, we didn't draw him before, but there he is. I really do like these. So I guess the final question is, is this book worth it? Is it worth getting a tutorial book like this to help you to learn how to draw Pokemon or any other characters for that matter? Well, I say yes, based on the beginning of this video when we attempted to draw Pikachu and Charmander without any reference and without any real idea on what they look like, we definitely made some improvements using this book. Now, it is by no means a practical approach. I would not draw like this in these stages. I would personally draw by looking at the character and just redrawing what it is I'm seeing. But if you are someone who's starting out with drawing or you just want to learn a few tips and tricks, there are 50 different Pokemon within this book and you are bound to find something to help you out in drawing one of those Pokemon. So there you have it everyone. The video is done. What did you think about it? Did you enjoy the video? And most importantly, did we prove Bob right? Do we need guides? Do we need these tutorial books? I, I don't think we do. No, we don't. I have the power to remove you. Remember that. Well, unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. My name has been ADC Art Attack, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, take care of yourself, be safe, be healthy, and I will see you all next time. Bye.